Well, hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a nice evening today. I am joined today by my guest, Roto. Uh, am I? Am I? Am I here? But I'm not here. I, I don't have a physical form. I'm sorry. I've taken that away from you today because I think that you don't really need it. Oh, oh, well, 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 that, well, that just means I, I'm haunting you now. I mean, this happens to me a lot. I mean, I don't know if you guys are haunted regularly, but I certainly am. So, hello to everyone. Hello to Mirei, Xanathus, Zing, well, Zang. Um, Millie, RPG fan. And thank you, Millie, for the resub. Seven months. <laughs> so, 2021 is finally drawing to an end, I guess. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that's basically how I feel, too, overall. It's been a rough year. Rough is definitely how I would describe it. Uh, at least it got a little better towards the end. Just a little. I suppose it did. Certainly. Could it's have been it's certainly worse. 2020, is what we should say. But, 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 but 2020 had Sonic Month. Oh, that's true. It's true. Well, the beginning of Sonic 20, uh, Sonic 20 month, the beginning of year 2020 started out great. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then it ended not so great. Yeah, I suppose that's fair to say. I'm pretty sure that uh, we'll be seeing Sonic games again next year sometime. <laughs> Will we finally see the conclusion of Sonic Month? I don't know. Maybe Sonic Month is just kind of eternal. Who knows? And um, also, hello, Nanachi. Welcome to the stream, and I hope that you will have a good time here. Oops. Uh, please don't mind any avatar glitches. Uh. <laughs> we occasionally pick up Roto, even though he's done everything he can to make sure that it won't. I need to put my mask back on. My ghost mask. Ah, uh, you have a ghost mask. Okay. I'm hoping you. What's the stream chat not showing up? Uh oh. That is definitely not a great technical issue, is it? That is very problematic. Oh, thank you for the bits. Is it time to put the music back on? I I'm sorry, but I, I, I spooked the chat away. You spooked the chat away? But why? It it's, it's all the electromagnetic interference that I'm emitting right now because I'm a ghost. Sometimes the captions are very confused. <laughs> anyway, please bear with me while I try to figure out why the chat is gone. A bear? No, that's Fry. He's only as big as a bear. Fry, where'd he go? Where's Fry? Wasn't Fry here just a few minutes ago? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you went to chase another ghost. Oh no. <laughs> we have more than one ghost in this house?
Well, you've seen our attic, right? Wait, no, you haven't. No, I haven't. You have. <laughs> I have. There's an artifact up there that we still need to retrieve, but it seems to be haunted. Man, this stream is just kind of cursed. Like, it looks like the chat box should be working. It, is there cropping on the, on the chat, too? There's no filter at all in the chat. Oh. You know, neither of us have played Phasmophobia. I've seen it in action, though. I don't know if you have, Zara. No, not particularly. <laughs> Trying to figure out if I am going to have to use Pop Chat for this stream or something. It looks like it might ha I might have to. Like that kind of sucks because it's a little more intrusive. Oh, we'll we'll fix it in post. We literally can't. Well, I, I thought I thought you were good at video editing. That's not what <laughs> video editing is. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look as good as the chat normally would look, but we're just gonna have to deal, I guess. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> Still, you know, we'll just have to deal. It's all right, you did a good job. Well, I mean, I tried. Okay, so we're going to play some Zelda classic over here. Also, I just fixed the chat again. Man, it looks bad up there. Oh well. Can't win them all. It might be being scaled in OBS. It is not being scaled in OBS. Oh, oh well. I mean, it's still kind of readable, but... Well, oh well, oh well. Anyway, I'm going to specifically be playing the Omega Randomizer, as so many people do. Omega? Yeah, it's Omega. That's like your favorite letter, right? Is there also an Alpha, and a Beta, and a Gamma, and a Sigma? There's at least two of those. B, Theta, Omicron? Well, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not all of those. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure that's something appropriate to be announcing loudly in chat. <laughs> well, shall we begin? Oh, you have to you have to do this again? I thought it would save. I thought it would too, but it didn't. So we're going to have to do it again. I hope you can at least save your progress with this. Of course you can. Okay. 144 dungeons? Are we doing all those tonight? Well, we're not going to have to do absolutely every dungeon, no. All right. Can... Before the end of the year. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Okay, only one dungeon a day. That sounds like it would take <laughs> half of the next year. RPG, I have experience. At least it's this close. Sorry. <laughs> this isn't something we're going super strong at here. I think this will do. What they say. Number go up. Is is that what they say? I think so. Either that or this is just the Hyrulean stock market. And stocks only go up though. I selected that. I selected to have a random starting weapon, but it looks like I ended up getting a sword anyway. Oh wait. You didn't select the swordless option, though. Well, no, I didn't select swordless because I didn't specifically want to be swordless. But the starting item still could have been random. However, this uh, sword seems to be uh, very volatile in that it loves to be thrown. That's kind of a slow swinging animation. Huh. Also, why are these, these Octoroks shooting fireballs? This doesn't seem right at all. Well, it could certainly be worse than this, couldn't it? What's the story here? Did Link just finally get tired of living in the Dark world and, world and emerge from his game? Well, you know, he's been isolating and social distancing. <laughs> just like all of us have been. Oh no! We have to escape all the way to the Dark World? Well, you know, the pandemic hit the Dark World especially badly because nobody's social distancing, as you can see. Oh no, that is a good point. I'm so sorry if you have to deal with that, that's harsh. I'm not a big fan of this sword. Burn trees yet. Huh. I, I kind of recognize that pattern of the uh, trees. Well, basically that screen there that's still at the shoreline. Is this basically the original overworld? Sort of. Huh. You know, I've seen enough of this in the past week. I was working on a ROM hack for my mother for Christmas. My first ROM hack ever, folks. Tell us all about it. Um, I wanted to make the game a little bit easier for her as well as 
uh, give it a unique story. So I kind of included her as the main character with me being... <laughs> with me replacing the rescuable Princess Zelda. I see. So why did you end up needing rescued? <laughs> uh, the story was that um, an evil organization was has, was creating an AI to take over Hyrule, and they were forcing me to program it. The evil organization? What, CERN? <laughs> no, I just wrote evil organization in the story text because I couldn't... I couldn't fit anything else? CERN, got it. <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> we're so? gonna have to figure out, like, we're gonna have to find something that we can do here because we don't have. Oh, we do have bombs. We do have bombs. Okay. Sorry, remember, 10th enemy has the bomb. But, but, but what if I'm the bomb? <laughs> Well, then... Oh my god, JC, a bomb! <laughs> You'll just have to make sure you keep getting hit before every 10th monster kills so no one takes you away. I see. They don't include that information in the hint text in the original game. It's not just that the 10th enemy has the bomb. You have to kill 10 enemies without being hurt. <laughs> and then just defeat the 10th enemy with a bomb, otherwise you get a, a, a 5... Uh, a blue rupee. I see. It looks like we've got some sort of rod in the shop here. I wonder if that mechanic is even included in this version. Probably. Okay. So just kill 10 en enemies without getting hit and see if you get a blue rupee. <laughs> that might be easier said than done. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, there's a bomb on the wall right there. I don't remember a bombable cave being there. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, well, that ended. We're quickly. so weak that we're dying already. That music is from a Castlevania game, isn't it? I want to say Order of Ecclesia. I suppose it's in that. Doesn't mean it's from that. But the way it opens, though, made me think it was East Two at first. <laughs> This is a quest for Zelda Classic. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, they're fi <laughs> they're firing magic at you already. Apparently so. This is only level two, but... I'm surprised to know that they weren't even with ropes. You know that they were the most damaging enemy in the game, in Zelda 1. <laughs> that they do the same damage as Ganon, just from touching them, four parts. Ganon should have just hired more of them then, shouldn't he? It's, it's, it's crazy, I know. And really, there already are a lot of them. Bomb. <laughs> if I had more health and a better sword, I wouldn't be dying so much. I assure you guys. Die, monster! 
You don't belong in this world. But I do. Well, actually, no. I belong in the cat world. This is a dark world. But you are a monster, right? That's... I'm pretty sure that's speciesist. Right you didn't deny it. <laughs> it's okay. You're a good monster cat girl. Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm only teasing. You see what I have to deal with every day, folks. <laughs> Even as a ghost, she can't get rid of me. <laughs> oh god, they shoot through the walls, too. Oh no, that's just wrong. <laughs> Dark Nuts got an upgrade. Oh no! Oh no! No, that was camping. <laughs> that could be much worse, even so. And yes, Retro, it is. Thing is, I'm not planning on doing all of this in one sitting or anything. Obviously. 144 dungeons, no problem. I've done enough with the Omega Randomizer to have some idea of how this goes. But does the reverse facing bomb technique work? I don't know that technique. Oh, well, the bomb is basically a sword swing in whatever direction you were facing when you drop the bomb. So if a dark nut approaches the bomb and you were facing away from it when you dropped it, as long as the dark nut doesn't change direction, doesn't completely reverse towards you, will still hit it with the bomb. Ah. It even works if you're facing sideways from it. Nice dodge, by the way. Now watch out. <laughs> oh god. Is it just me or is there no chat on screen again? Um, well, it's fading away. There, it should be fixed. The fact that my normal chat isn't working is definitely a bit concerning. You know, maybe I should go this way. Yes, Retro, I've seen it. Those are the freaking monsters that are in the dungeons from Zelda 2. The ones that give no experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny to see them included here. I don't know their names though. There's but a I'm lot of stuff. But I'm sure it's very funny. There's a lot of stuff included here. Oh god. Hey look, walking sea slugs. Sea slugs? Okay, okay, they're birthday cakes. What? Well, can't you see the birthday cake? They got candles on them. Would you guys just stop questioning my settings? Like, I know that it can get ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. I'm just having fun. I'm an extremely patient person, probably more than most. <laughs> oh yes, it's set to 144, but it's also set to overworld items. So. No. 
having so little health is really the big problem here. This dungeon is not very, very nice yet. This dungeon is very, very neat. Serato, what sort of things have you been up to this year? Ah. Work, work, more work. Some stream stuff. Food. And what streams have you done? You know, there was a very long time. For like the first half of the year that I wasn't really streaming anything, it was just that happened. Yeah. Uh, I started with Star Tropics. It was amazing, by the way. And I'm glad that I got to see some other people stream that came this year to hilarious results. Ah, yes. Gigaboots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed the Star Tropics 2 stream. It happened so late. But at least you got the Star to a Tropics 1 stream, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I actually, you know, I. Uh, one of the times you were doing Extra Life, you had me stand in for a little while, and I played that game, but I didn't finish it. So I decided to do it as like a rerun this year. And after that, that was the long, long hiatus. I forget what game I played after that when I came back. It was... I think it was a roguelite. I don't know which one, though. No, I remember. It was, it was Pac-Man 99. That sounds right. I had to prove to everyone <laughs> that I could get a... that I could get Pac-Champ on day one. And you did. I did. I popped off pretty hard. No, I haven't been playing much of that lately. <laughs> and it was still a while longer yet before we saw you stream again. Yeah, it took me quite a while to get back to streaming after everything that happened. But I have been streaming more regularly ever since. Ocean oh. Shop Membership. Now you are allowed to buy from one shop. This year has also been, I guess, the year of VR for us, you know. Even though we really got started on it last year. Wait, you still haven't done a VR stream yet. No, no I haven't. But we've been in VR chat a lot recently. Oh yeah. yeah, I've only spent two days on it though. <laughs> two extremely long days. You know, I kind of regret that I don't have a personalized avatar yet. Yet, you said. Yet. <laughs> Well, that's going to take some planning and probably a lot of money. I do have... Well, I do have new subscriber avatars, though. <laughs> thanks to our friend Renee. Avatars, you say? Oh, avatar? You oh. <laughs> did you say avatars? Yes, you did. Well, I wish I could have avatars of those, of those uh, subscriber emotes. <laughs> could probably get one of commission. So then everyone can be solid snaky. Oh, I see. <laughs> hmm. I still don't have much money. Remember what I said? Ten enemies without getting hit. It's a lot of money. I don't think I'm ever going to kill ten enemies without getting hit at this rate. Oh, you found level one. Ooh, level this one music. clock. I 
don't recognize this song. You know, supposedly there's some way to kill this enemy with a sword strike after it eats the bomb, but I've never been able to figure it out. I think it might be a matter of exact frame perfect timing. Supposedly takes one sword strike after you stun it. Okay, we got the compass. Hmm. See, Retro knows. Didn't realize it was just the smoke that does that. Good call. I forget what the boomerang throwing enemies are called. It's, it's something like Berea. Right? Got the boss key. Well, the big key. Got it. <laughs> Those enemies are the worst in Zelda 2. Hug the blocks, you never know. Hey, Roto. Mm -hmm. These enemies, don't you like them? Oh, I think they're adorable. When are you going to start VTubing? Is it going to be next year? Ideally, sure. Well, I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to be able to pull off the kind of look that I want. YouTuber software that you use. Well, something's always going to be better than nothing, right? I suppose. Though, it's not going to look like the face in my icon right now. I would have been surprised if it did. <laughs> no, we're, we're deviating a little bit, bit from that. Oh boy. Yeah, I need anything that sends you back to the start of a dungeon. Hello, Adam. How are you doing? Hey, I didn't know this game has math. It sure does. <laughs> teaches algebra. I mean, how else does 
does he make his ar arrows fly so true? Well, Mirei, that might be the least accurate thing you've said all year. <laughs> You are so close to the end. usually use a keyboard. Pity Burger. Also, welcome to the stream. I do have an Xbox, um, an Xbox One controller that I use when I play a game that really is better suited to a controller. But for the vast majority of things, I just use a keyboard. Thank you for the reminder. Oh man, I gotta do this better. Just having three hearts is pretty rough at the moment. <laughs> but, but, but... <laughs> that does sound cute, doesn't it? I wonder if I might be able to make that happen. I think I could, actually. There might be. It's just a matter of where. <laughs> Heart pieces are everywhere, in, in my current seed, at least, in my current seed. Oh boy. Wait, are these waist robes? They look so strange. They don't have their amulet. Whatever they are, they're jerks. I mean, that was never in any doubt. Wind robes, says Retro. Oh. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Guys, I swear I'm better at video games than this. It's no use! I mean, I have a hook shot, but... Hmm. Huh, they don't have any shields. Some of them have shields, some of them don't. The ones in this room do not have shields. But could you use the hook shot if they do have shields? Good idea. <laughs> Why am I bothering with that? Wait, iron knuckles? Am I getting my enemies confused here? Are those... Are those the, the, the term for the soldiers that will be, uh... the ball and hammer in, uh... Delta 3? Something like that. Oh no, 
again. <laughs> oh, you turn into a cool skull when you die. So, Rhoda, do you have any particular plans for next year? Uh... More VR streams? I'm definitely going to be working on my channel a bit more. Well, the work on those never ends, does it? No, it, it does not. I've made so many changes and improvements to mine this year, and even aside from just the fact that I'm VTubing now, which has been a lot of fun so far. It's also caused some complications with me being in your room now. <laughs> yeah, funny, isn't it? Although I guess just wearing a hat has confused the camera enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm wearing a hat so that the so that, so that your camera doesn't pick me up. And then I start controlling your body. <laughs> well, you are a ghost. Uh -huh. I only have control of your mouth sometimes. Well, that's just a result of me having to use a hot cube when I'm talking. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. I'm sure we'll figure something out in the future. Or the past, or the, f or the present, who knows. It gets confusing when time travel is involved. Right, I'm back at this room. Hmm. Oh, this is a clock. Oh no! My least, my least liked Zelda enemy, period. Fry's Claws? Frodo, you're the only one who fears Fry. <laughs> I really wish I had something better than this wooden sword. Heart piece. It's a heart piece. It doesn't even fill your health. Huh, these are BS Zelda graphics, aren't they? At least for the dungeon tiles. A lot of stuff, but not the enemies. It's been a very, very long time since I played that version of the game. I kind of liked it a little bit more than the original Zelda. I mean, I don't think they're identical to BS Zelda graphics. Plus, it was only recently that the official Link sprite for BS Zelda was uncovered because of the big leaks that happened. Really? I didn't know that. But yeah, I think that this stuff is mostly original. So it's not Bia Zelda. Well... No, but it, the Link sprite it, has a very similar feeling, right? Yes, it, it evokes that kind of uh, image. But it does look really good with all the... Uh, larger tiles and stuff, but it have those, those large, large walls. 
Well, not a lot of enhancements. Uh, this, this is an awful. Those things fire so fast. Yeah, I shouldn't be messing around in that room. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just going to check out the overworld a bit more now. We could really use some fire. Because all else has failed. I mean, basically. Duh. Oh, is this a... Is this a different overworld? Outlands overworld. Yep, we're in the Outlands. We're gonna find file down here. <laughs> no, this is a Mega Man X six. I want to say. Nope. Five. Nope. I'm certain. This is Mega Man X three. File state. Oh, that's that's right. <laughs> well, Mega Man X three. It's like one of my least played Mega Man X titles because I did not have that one. I can't really blame you. Honestly, it's the least interesting of the SNES ones to me. I, I think he just fired some shots with that. <laughs> I know, but I stand by it. <laughs> Oh, those have a lot of HP. I don't know if there's an easy way to kill those, I'm sorry. If you had ice and a hammer, maybe. I think this will work. Eaten today. <laughs> uh, neither have I. <laughs> you know, I was just, I was just getting ready to prepare dinner before you totally. <laughs> but but you, you have all those potato chips. And you were like, get in here, we're streaming. I'm like what? I, I haven't eaten yet. I told you to get a snack first. <laughs> I told you to oh, get a snack first. I did. I did. <laughs> And thank you, Yo Dates. I'll do my best. I'm also running on like three hours of sleep today. <laughs> we were up late on VR chat with like Dot. Yeah, that the game is actually new to me. Well, fairly new. Proto, you're being asked if your icon is Adol. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Adol and Doki and Aris all rolled into one. Is that how that works? <laughs> I 
I'm a, I, I'm a wall crushing buzz cutter with a bounty. <laughs> But no, the icon th that's being used for me right now is taken from Sara's RPG Maker game. Star Sword Chronicle. Still a work in progress. And I'm sure you really protest it because you have a big thing against talking weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Only talking swords. Oh, so for, for, guns for, are for some reason, in every it's just about every media they appear in, any kind of talking sword is going to be obnoxious. I don't know why that's such a thing. But as far as talking guns are concerned, no, the ones in Soul Eater are fine. But I see. So you don't like Star? You think she's <laughs> Um, um, I didn't say that. No, no, no. You can't take it back anymore. <laughs> exactly, Rafagnality. <laughs> it's easier to call you by your first name, but I'm trying not to do that as much anymore. At least on stream. Oh, so what would you call me then, Roto? Sara Lene? <laughs> I see, so Sara Lene is fine, but Sara is not. <laughs> you know what? To heck with that room. We got money. <laughs> you know what? You can't take it to the afterlife. <laughs> we have some money, so we might... Since we have some money, we might be able to get something nice. Alright, ortho it is. <laughs> I'm fine with being in this overworld. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> eh, you know, 2021 has felt like death anyway, right? <laughs> guys like my choice in sound fonts. Also, music is MIDI. Thank you for the bits. This is a different level one. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, didn't you set the overworlds to have four dungeons each? Not entirely how you think. It's more like four sets. Four sets of... Uh-oh. What did you drop? I, I pulled the wire out of... <laughs> out of my headset. 
You pulled the wire out of your headset because you learned that it was four sets of death. <laughs> ah. You guys see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Bits are basically donations, like 100 bits is worth like a dollar. Well, I mean, it's worth less to us because Amazon takes, well, Twitch takes half the profits, half, um, the, half the revenue. Well, yeah, but still, it's like donating to me. Come on, I don't want to... Roto, don't say stuff like that. Like, I want to encourage this stuff. You're being discouraging I, I, right I, now. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I just... I thought that was known knowledge. It is known, but... The point is, donating with bits is still good, although I have another donation link as well. Stream elements donation. People who want to donate directly. <laughs> well, thank you for the 28 bits, Nanachi. <laughs> Oh my god, a bomb! So, can you even call this music? Thank you for the 22 bits, Nunachi. Oh gosh, thank you. You didn't have to, but I appreciate it. This music is definitely a choice. <laughs> I wish I had five chocolate bars right now. I mean, I think we do have some downstairs. <laughs> Probably a bit more than five. Shall I scare some up for you? No, I'm... well... Hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Technically, what Roto said was grammatically correct. Scrounging something up can be called scaring it up. I've never understood why. Like, that's slang i think i think it's yeah i think it's slang for, uh, i think it's hunting slang well that would explain why i always heard it since i'm from west virginia That sounds rough. Ah, uh, diet, diabetes sucks. I have some family members who suffer from that. And you're always worried that the moment you eat even a single sweet, you'll get it. That doesn't work, though. I mean, it's good that you're careful, though. So this dungeon is going much better. Don't say that. You're right. <laughs> I really shouldn't say it.
for the hydration reminder. Yeah. You hydrate, I'll just have some Pringles. That's the opposite of hydrating. You gotta dehydrate to hydrate. I think it is. Gabby gets. Well, our, our roommate Gabby gets some. Um, these cans that are labeled like liquid death, and it's actually just water. I'm actually gonna try one of those one of these days. That's the water it isn't actually that bad. I would say that drinking too much water can kill you, but technically drinking too much of anything can kill you, so. to the end, Sarah. I believe in you. Oh, that's great, but I don't actually have the big key. Oh. Oh, no. They have those here? Yes, they have those here. Oh. I think there's a few dungeons where it isn't strictly necessary, but... how those blade traps are supposed to behave. Well then how are they supposed to behave? They only go half the root length. They're supposed to go that far. What's your favorite Zelda game? <laughs> uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> Zelda was... Zelda? I'm not actually too huge on. I think Minish Cap is a good game. Minish Cap is a good game, but I don't think it's my favorite. You know, I, I think it's, I think it's got to be Wind Waker, if only for the sailing theme. Interesting. <laughs> My favorite game is the Zelda game, not because of Zelda. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> Boss 
Loki looking grumpy. Can I re can I revise my answer? Oh. Yes. I want to change my favorite Zelda game to Govelius. <laughs> Any version of it is fine. <laughs> Do you guys think this gold valley is count? It's quite possible that not many people have even heard of that game. I'd call it likely. No, I bet Dot would have heard of it though. Should we? We should. <laughs> we should ask her about them. Wow, that is a really well. Is a really looking dragon. That dungeon is actually cleared. be good to have. Huh? What? Then again, what? The, then again the shield would also be useful, so I'll get the shield and some meat. <laughs> that poor- Oh god! That poor pork chop sitting in in my air fryer right now. I've had to cancel dinner plans three days in a row. <laughs> I just kind of damage boosted right through there. Well, damage boosting is a technique. the feeling this is going to be a pretty easy dungeon. You say that, but... The enemies aren't even being particularly mean. been said that I am bestowed with head, head pads, and yet there are no head pads. I guess we'll just have to program some in. I mean, you're right there, aren't you? <laughs> Well... 
suppose she's getting hit pads from me now. My very, very ghostly hit pads. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, when I try to head Pat Fry, he just grabs me and bites me. And then kicks you to death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I bet you didn't know that a cat could be a kickboxer. How else do you think I became a ghost? You know, when cats do that... It's called the bunny kick, by the way. It's supposedly their most deadly move in hunting. Well, are you dead? Uh, you think? Oh, right, you are. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you died. It's okay, I'll get better. So that's what this dungeon is shaped like. This is Randomizer Omega running in Zelda Classic. the chat were working right. I just don't understand why it chose today to just not function. I think I had something like that happen to me one time. Uh, but of course, I hope you take a look at it later. Like, do you think they're just down or something? I kind of doubt it because I figured we'd be hearing about it. Everybody uses that. Well, not everybody. <laughs> It's good that cap chat exists for situations like this, but it's unfortunate that I have to use it. It looks like we can't clear this dungeon because we have no way of, of uh, going across the water right now. But it's level one. <laughs> Not even the hook shot have worked? Ah, uh, I, I probably should have thought of that. small hammer in an arc. Um... This isn't the hammer fall that I remember. <laughs> uh, 
That seems very specific, doesn't it? have to call that the Sara Maneuver, <laughs> seeing as this is an overhead game instead of a 2D platformer. Possible to block them with your shield, though. Maybe. You just have to hold still. Of course, you're not gonna block, be blocking fire or magic with that. Oh, or you will. I mean, it's a magic shield, I think. Did you pick one up? I mean, look at that shield. It's pretty big. gatekeeping. <laughs> That's a lot of gels. I'm sure it's fine. Um, they're multiplying. <laughs> I want to use a bomb. Oh, you, you picked up a clock so it doesn't matter now. That bomb explosions hurt you in Zelda Classic. Or Zelda 1. I could be wrong. They might have changed the rules here. That just felt a little excessive, didn't it? <laughs> like. <laughs> also, I think I had the lip sync reversed. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> so please stop possessing my lips. <laughs> Or I'll make you sing. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to hear me sing. I said I'm, think. Oh, sink. I'm not singing that either. <laughs> Dear. 
I feel I'm still underpowered for this place. I'm gonna be honest, I don't off the top of my head now. <laughs> uh, I didn't recognize it either. It sounded cool though. I might be able to use the hookshot to get that. The secret's under a rock. There's no point in me doing this. It's under this rock. Oh, so that's not randomized? Well, the thing is, you can tell this stuff just by looking. Huh. I was looking, but I didn't notice it was different. No, the music in the previous dungeon that I was in. Uh oh. Hit me right, little do you know I am a rock. A ghost rock. Oh, that, that should be a genre. <laughs> this is Omega Randomizer Omega for uh, Zelda Classic. Oh, and those are my cousins. <laughs> fairy sprite looks a little bit weird in this game. Yep, it I know it's a fairy. I know it's a fairy holding her hands together, but to me, it just looks like a giant. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me as well. <laughs> Are you sure it's a fairy holding her hands together? Pretty sure. She's wearing a dress, too. Eating a donut. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Hungrier than I was before. <laughs> but Roto, you're always hungry. If oh. anybody doesn't know, that's practically Roto Stick. Oh, details. Details. <laughs> so these are just filler items. Yep. <laughs> when there aren't enough key items to randomize in. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Speaking of filler items... Hey, Krusty, how are you doing? Krusty is not a filler item, just so you know. I can't even go in here. Well, I think the game has other plans for you. Apparently so. <laughs> you can never leave. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm hungry, but... The fact is, we won't be streaming all night. We're keeping this relatively short, I think. Just, 
I want to make sure that I keep up my streaming like every week as much as I can. Oh, I so um. I see what you're doing. Although I might not be streaming <laughs> next week, probably won't be streaming next week. Mm. Because uh, next week I'm going to Magnus, so. Well, you know, I can touch. From the fifth. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit nervous, but I always go that way with cons. It's just how it goes. Have you, have you been to Magnus before? I have never been to MAGFest before because it always happened at the same time as PAX South, and I went to every PAX South. Well, there was a different convention you went to that wasn't PAX South. Well, I went to the Rooster Teeth Expo once. Is that it? I've also been to E3. Well... Huh. <laughs> but that, it, it was your, your company that got me there, though. I'm afraid that uh, Roto is not coming with me. I'm rooming with Fox, so. It's all right, I'll, I'll be pulling the fort here and possessing other items. Rooming with Vox and chair G tables. Who are probably. I wonder if the Vox off show is going on tonight. She hasn't done that in a few weeks, huh? Okay, so if the Vox Off show is going on right now, then you can check out Voxandra's channel for the number one source for her, Voxandra, on her channel. Um, Roto, would you use the shout out command? You have a shout out command? Yeah, um, SO Voxandra. Okay, and yeah. And someone shout out Chair too. Hmm? So amazing we had to shout her out twice. Oh, a dagger. I wonder if it's a throwing knife. Oh, thank goodness. This is going to be a big deal. The game just got a lot easier. doing. Also, um, the sound font, um, I've got a PC-98 sound font on. So it is FM. Oh, baby. Actually, this is Zelda Classic PC game. The specific randomizer Omega for it. So what you're saying is the design stopped working and got a different job? Thank <laughs> you. 
Definitely something I am interested in. Looks like I can't proceed in this dungeon further at the moment. I'm not entirely sure though. It's possible I could be missing something. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything in here. I mean, I got some great stuff in here though. This dagger is a game changer. The game just opened up a bunch for us because we won't get our butts kicked so easily anymore. So, you know, it's working out. Well, that's good. You said we because. <laughs> I know you said we. I'd like you to stop dying. I'm dead enough. <laughs> This is Randomizer Omega for Zelda Classic. Right? This, this dungeon is called Rainbow? Apparently so. It's, it's just green. Wait, it's all green? <sighs> Always has been. Mega Man X music, isn't it? It's Mega Man 7 music. Mega Man 7. It's Mega <laughs> Man music. <laughs> yeah, well, you get the picture. Just randomizer Omega. Uh, Mire, would you mind saying that in chat? Randomizer Omega for Zelda Classic. Thank you, Mire. Man, you can really feel the power, can't you? Feel the power. Oh, do you? Fry. Power of fry? Forcing through my veins. Oh, he might have tore them open. Help. <laughs> oh, so sorry about that. This is the problem with getting. This is the problem with getting possessed by a ghost, you know. As opposed to a ghost you don't know? Well, I mean, they're both pretty bad. Go asked. <laughs> yeah. All of you guys know, normally my production values are a little higher than this, but a little haphazard at the moment. Because this is sort of spur of the moment. I wanted to make sure I streamed this week, though. Is that what chaos control is? You 
big key. They say, the more the merrier. <laughs> this poses a conundrum, doesn't it? I guess I know where to go. Wait. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Oh, this dungeon layout is devious. It definitely is. There's some very interesting layouts in this, in general. I'm just so glad that he's throwing daggers, though. Yeah, I did. For the time being. That's a new room. <laughs> Thank you, RPP. Although I think Frodo used it as a potato chip reminder again, <laughs> that you guys can probably hear. It looks like we once again can't get through this dungeon yet because we can't cross the water. Unless... Unless... Wow, look at that. Is that your fourth heart piece? Uh, third? Third. I wanna, I wanna say third. Yeah, we saw the fourth heart piece elsewhere. We couldn't get it. <laughs> they sure feel like padding. Man, they sure feel like padding, yes. <laughs> I don't have any bottles. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't get us anywhere, unfortunately. We definitely need something that'll let us crop up in order to finish this dungeon. We still need a source of fire too to be able to burn these trees. Because you know, deforestation is part of the goal of Zelda. <laughs> well, you know, Link's story basically started with some tree telling him to do some crap, so. God, you're not wrong. At least in one of these games. He also hates fine pottery. Can't blame him. <laughs> I'm sure he wanted to be a potter, and seeing pottery just enrages him as a result because he knows he can't do it.
Oh no, level 8. I shouldn't be here at all. Visible here. item to see them? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this was this was the thing in uh Ocarina of Time, wasn't it? You needed the the seeing glass or whatever it's called. The lens of truth. The lens of truth. It is a seeing glass though. It tells. It's been a, it's been a very long time since I played one of the modern Zelda games. I see. Pretty sure I skipped out on a bunch. that? I went the long way around to get down here. Oh. Are these other overworlds actually based on anything, or are they original? They're based on the Zelda 1 overworld somewhat. I think they also might have been from another mod by the same author, in some cases, like the Outlands one. Basically, though, there's tons of stuff randomized. There's random items in a bunch of different dungeons, which are themselves kind of random. Fourteen? Sorry, dude, I just broadcast your secret to the whole world. And the secret was fourteen. Nice dodge. <laughs> yeah, there's no key sanity to it, thankfully. Although, I can bring keys with me from anywhere in the world to anywhere else. Oh, I was already in here. We can't go in here anywhere. I forgot. Hmm. Hmm. Cool, 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 cool. There's no other way out? Cool. Not this again. Wait, maybe we can do something in here? I'm not sure. Like, let's make up let's make absolutely sure. Is it possible to walk through the walls of some of these dungeons? I think so. Oh no. 
you might want to try the room right below you, right below this one. Then. The music is simply, it comes with the randomizer, but I chose a PC-98 sound font to use. I just noticed your shield spread is smaller when you're in the dungeon. Huh. I left this dungeon not because I hit a dead end, but because I thought it was just way too dangerous right now. And now I have these daggers, which are helping a lot. Hello, JD. I hope you're doing okay today. So skulls are a trap. Oops. It definitely is a new area. What? Just happened. Oh, I heard something on the stairs. What again? Entirely possible they could be used as normal enemies. I forget what this one's called. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, rip. I believe I just got that be that beat up by a freaking bat. I think I should see what's behind that warp. Ooh. Yes, I think we should go in. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Rimbo. Thank you for that, really. You have been spooked. By spooky tricks. One of Dr. Robotnik's diabolical traps again. <laughs> I just never expected that Roto was Dr. Robotnik. I'm just glad it wasn't Lava Magma this time. Are you sure you, you don't want me activating those? <laughs> to make the volcanic defense system to shield the base with my lava magma. A bomb. But I don't want the base to be shielded. I want to infiltrate the base. Bombs 
really don't damage you. I mean, good thing. Although I was watching and I did confirm there is no 10 enemy bonus. So. Oh, well. Hmm. really needy. You have 637 rupees. That's not really enough. <laughs> That's not nearly enough. <laughs> you might think I'm joking, but I want to assure you I'm not. That isn't enough. Oh dear. You're not joking, Roto. Like, do you think you could legit like get me a couple clip bars? Oh, like five or something? A couple. A couple. I get a habit of never separating couples, so I have to eat both of the chocolate bars, the boyfriend and the girlfriend. So I, so I just got you a couple of everything. Oh gosh. Roto, what part of Hershey's Kiss and Chocolate Bar are the same thing in your mind? <laughs> hmm? I mean, if you melt them, you could probably mold them into chocolate bars. I mean, that would be a very small chocolate bar. slightly melted. Oh dear. How did that happen? Which kind is it that's melted? <laughs> it's 
one of the Hershey bars. Huh. Well, they were all in the cabinet, safely tucked away from the sun. It's possible they fell victim to that one night when the heater was overcompensating. Hmm. You're gonna have to feel that. <laughs> yes, Nanachi, you're absolutely right. But it didn't start out that way. <laughs> Are you going to expound on that? Um, <laughs> I, I suppose I could do that. Roto is just the name I used. I first used it in as part of a, a, a mud. Uh, a multi-user dungeon. Right, a multi-user dungeon. And I chose that name because I didn't want to use my original handle for any So I just chose the name of the hero from Dragon Quest 3. And it got ex and it got um I needed to extend it even further to make it unique across the games I was going to be playing from then on. So, I noticed... <laughs> I noticed how similar it was to Motorola. And that's how we ended up with Rotomola. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, okay, that's bold. You shouldn't have been able to be hit there. <laughs> Okay, so Mirei, tell us what the TSH stands for. <laughs> I said, hi Dan. I hope you're doing well. Uh, oh, hey Dan. Six eighty thousand. Sixty-eight thousand. Six eighty thousand. What's a six eighty thousand? <laughs> See the sixty-eight thousand is the CPU used in a lot of stuff. And guess who manufactures it? Oh, you say Motorola actually made that? Yeah. Huh. Well, the more you I'm know. I'm not talking the console, that's not... But, you know, the CPU that's used in a whole bunch of things, the 68,000, that's what it's talking about. Ah, right. Well, I guess I'm going to be happy to be... I guess I'm going to have to play a lot more 68,000 games. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to play 68,000 more games, yes.
blue critical ring might do extra damage with some melee attacks. I think we've long left melee behind. Bridge there. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> you better remember where that is. It's on the map, you silly. Uh oh. You see those DKs? That stands for Dark World. Donkey Kong. D.K. Donkey Kong. D.K. Donkey Kong is here. Oh, is, is Donkey Kong the final boss? <laughs> um, the overworld theme in the Outlands overworld is searching for friends from Final Fantasy VI. I love this dungeon color. It is pretty nice color. <laughs> Yes! Sorry to hear I, that you're I, I love the punchy percussion <laughs> in this uh for this dungeon. It reminds me of Labyrinth for some reason. Anyway, I'm really sorry to hear you're under the weather. Yeah, sometimes <clears throat> sometimes being sick can make even the most obvious things to you normally into something that just isn't at all anymore. I know how that feels. figured that out somehow. <laughs> It's easier than the first room led me to believe. Although I can't move these. Very strange. Well, I think I need Titan's Mitt. You should never need something like that to move blocks in the room. Unless... Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a manhandler. <laughs> Handler. Manhandler. Manhandler. Uh. Because it's bigger than the normal manhandler. Oh no, they're reproducing.
This dragon is not very good at its job. It ain't too many arrows. <laughs> Oh man, I want that item so bad. Wait, if you're supposed to enter this room from the top, and that's where the dragon was... <laughs> Good point. One of these blocks has to move. that lead to a dead end? Oh, okay. I think blocks are darker, so maybe you do need the Titan's mitt. Exactly. Oh, wow, Mira, you're right. <laughs> I ran out of bombs. You ran out of bombs. <laughs> A bomb. This dungeon's a bust right now, I think. map here. <laughs> yep, it's on my select button. It's a pretty good map. <laughs> it's definitely useful. Like I've got this map which has the nature of each room. Then I have the full map that I can use when I really need it. this okay I see <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that was a scroll it looked like a like a gas tank to me or something
place is a pain to navigate. This place looks like Gobo Warrior. Do you remember that game? Because <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Even though I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna have to go the long way around. Wow, you're right. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for subscribing, Nanachi. There's a bunch of, well, there's a few subscriber remotes that you'll have access to now. I don't have any bombs. <laughs> I need bombs. <laughs> I really need for an enemy to drop some bombs now. That's a multi bark. <laughs> so basically, we can get to any of the other worlds from that one warp. I highly doubt the boss enemies quick works here. Retro already talked about it, so it must. Uh -huh. Does it then? Huh? But there's two ghosts here, so. Mira, did that merch purchase work for you this time? What you would do is you would spawn all the ghosts on one map while the ghosts that spawn when you enter are still alive. And you hit the uh, you hit the corporal ghosts like something like eight times, and on the ninth hit they'll die. And if they're the boss enemy for that room, it'll destroy all the other. Um, all the other ghosts you spawned as well, and they'll drop items. Neat. I don't know if this, that works in this version of the game, though. Do any of these gravestones look off to you? I know every room has some things. Uh... That gave me a funny look when I did that. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the merch pur purchase, Mire. You might just have to touch all of them. This seems like a terrible idea. It's also, it's also possible that... Oh, wow. Okay, so one of them was a stairwell. Yep, it seems that way. idea what this song is, Roto? To me, it sounds like Space Quest. Space Quest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, I don't think that's accurate, but I like your answer. <laughs> <laughs> that game traumatized me. I 
cool hats these snakes have. I think those snakes are pharaohs. They're just regular pharaohs, not jade pharaohs. Just beetle juiced. Hello, Jade Pharaoh. I guess he's been here. We've <laughs> seen a lot of different jades. Yeah, but amongst, fake jade isn't around. <laughs> amongst those streams, huh? There are at least two real jades and at least one fake jade. <laughs> Together like Daredevil Six or something. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, those those walls really do exist. I realized that the door was closed, so I had to have some way out. Those skulls in the corners are so cool. I want one of those in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so as Mirei would say, I want one as a pet. <laughs> That'd be an awesome good light. I mean, you're not wrong. Something like that has to exist. I'm gonna have to go like looking through thrift stores now. See, the door just kind of shuts and leaves me in here. Oh. Though, unfortunately, the next rooms are trapped, so... You can never leave. Passageways are at play, though. There might be one somewhere that I haven't noticed yet. room at least. It seems like this dungeon expects you to have the ladder anyway. Yeah. Yonachi says, sometimes you just need to face the fact that eating an entire bucket of wings is a bad idea. I'm sure you have something to say. <laughs> about I wish I had an entire bucket of wings right now. That's the uh, Game Boy Color one, right? Or was it just normal Game Boy? Super hot buffalo wing sauce.
So yeah, we can't proceed in this dungeon for now. JD is like, as someone who regularly buys 12 kilogram boxes of chicken drumsticks, get on my level. <laughs> Five pound bags at Walmart is roughly equal. A little bit less, actually. I'm from West Virginia, so I used to have a trawl, but I sort of got out of it after my best friend at the time kept making fun of it. <laughs> I think the secret is probably that Armo statue. Well then how would you expect me to get to it? <laughs> Level 3. Hey, I think Sonic Months just re resumed. <laughs> Just in time for the new year. This purple is a very strange color to be calling navy. You're not wrong. <laughs> Maybe Link just sees colors differently. Ah, uh, a PS1 game called Machine Hunter. I never did, though. though. Roto, did you ever play Machine Hunter for PS1? I've not played a Machine Hunter, but I have played a Bottle Hunter. <laughs> Top down shooter. Hmm. Uh, machine Hunter. You know what? Wait, I have played Machine Hunter before. That game was on one of the PlayStation Underground discs. Oh. It's it's not a good game. Oh. <laughs> well, every game is a good game if you find something to enjoy about it. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I mean... I wonder if I'm even thinking of the same game. Well, the notch says it's a bit Kusoge. Ah, see, that, that explains it. See, Kusoge is alright. I'm okay with Kusoge. I play Kusoge games. <laughs> Suggested to me by friends. And last week I was playing a bit of Zangira. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? That game is a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece of trolling. <laughs>
know, I'm gonna try raising the font size for the chat. Oh boy. It goes well. Yeah, it's never a great idea to do this during the middle of the stream, which is why I'm gonna do this during the middle of the stream. That will do for now. Like it's still not as good as the chat I normally have, but it should be more readable. Yeah, you should be able to see it on the stream now, Roto. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Hopefully the normal chat will be back after. <laughs> mean something? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Four bombs too. Yeah, I would have served them as well. It's okay, we'll get back there. Hill, if you're the kind of person who's played the Sonic through beta. Oh, 
Sonic Ruin was called Neo Green Hill in the beta of Sonic 2. Take that, man, Panza. Get dunked on. This would be a good opportunity to see if the bomb trick works with the darkness. Or rather, these iron knuckles. <laughs> oh, you see, he turned around, so it hit yep. him anyway. Well, we got the boss key. That's the important thing here. I think some people here are having fun with your captions again. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Who knows Batman's phone number? Eight six seven five three oh nine. <laughs> well, we can't finish this dungeon. Oh, wow, that's awful. Yes, I do have fire, but let's see. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> <laughs> right, I can burn some trees now. I'll show those trees who's boss. What is a man? Okay, where did trees at? <laughs> oh wow, those are Zelda 2 enemies. <laughs> oh boy, this place looks dangerous. That is correct. Welcome to the stream, Miss Yakima. I think you're gonna need a ladder again. Yep. Everybody knows that ladders are meant to be placed across gaps, right? <laughs> oh, I need the mint, so I can't go through here either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed.
Yeah, I... I have played the Omega Randomizer a fair bit. Not on, uh, not on stream, though, up until now. Everybody's favorite. A tea bag. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Rhoda's taking it as a potato chip reminder. I'm, I'm, I'm more hungry than thirsty right now. <laughs> That's why. I try. I think people are enjoying hearing the crunch when you bite into the chips. <laughs> Magic Regan. Am I, am I gonna have to make this one of my my one of my channel point rewards? <laughs> take a potato chip break. The description would be: I'll take a potato chip and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna humor me back to life like this. <laughs> Second, why is it picking up the crunching? I, I thought you were on. It is on Arch RTX. Why is it not filtering that out? For some reason, they've been allowing more noise through recently. Okay, well, last one for now then. Dark room got lit up by the enemies using fire. Sorry, this is an ASMR stream now. Are you going to whisper into the viewers' ears and <laughs> tell them that they are loved and appreciated and people like them? I mean, I would love to do that, but potato chip ASMR comes first. <laughs> You know, you should record that and put it on YouTube. You'll probably get at least one viewer. <laughs> Is it fry? It's fry. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is this is PG thirteen. Oh, is Dot doing what I think she's doing? I can't tell from here. Your, your stream setup is blocking. Screen. As to me, it looks like Dot's playing Doom Eternal. Oh, well, how about that? Okay. 
hat is fry, but I'm talking about a streamer dot level. I have heard this song somewhere before. And you didn't call this music. Say Metal Gear 2? But no, that can't be. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is right. Meridia. <laughs> Good catch. Speaking of being uh -oh. caught. <laughs> Fry! Fry! I've mentioned it before, but those are my least liked Zelda enemies, <laughs> period. This is a PC-98 sound font. I just like the faux retro style as such. Okay, so there was just a key in there. I guess we can't really proceed in this place for now. That's fine. Seems to be happening a lot. You know we have 144 dungeons to, progress, <laughs> to find the way to progress through. That's okay. So I'm not <laughs> gonna have to do every single one. <laughs> Might have to start with all the level ones. Well, first I'm gonna start burning trees. Is that carbon pollution level? <laughs> Bring on the global warming. This dungeon seems rather familiar. <laughs> well, we were in Navy just a bit ago, which is related to this dungeon. Oh, is that right? My shield gets really big when I throw one of these. That's really just because your normal shield striking, specifically inside the dungeon, it's smaller than it should be. That seems like a bug. Oh, Blasticator, I haven't made any changes to my VTubing avatar. I did change my stream layout uh, not that long ago to make room for it, though. This kind of room for this? <laughs> Whoa! That's pretty evil. That's devious. It shows the way I handled it. But, but, but you triumphed. So it's fun. Oh. Well, they did call this dungeon cross. <laughs> dungeon crossing. How? How are you supposed to do that? 
what, aren't the arrows gonna just bounce off? Oh, okay, so that works. <laughs> ice arrows. Totally not ice missiles. I mean, it worked. <laughs> Fairy. Uh, okay, why is it just sitting there? Because I haven't been able to pick it up. Stop using logic on me. It's like a Triforce piece for one of the worlds. Still can't do anything in this place, unfortunately. Think so, <laughs> So, those key bags, they're bags of poems, clearly. Definitely. Really? I thought it was a bag of ponchos. Proto ordered a poncho recently. <laughs> that bag has my poncho and it. it's a really nice poncho too. It actually is going to be delivered next week. Maybe just in time before you leave. <laughs> And by leaving, it's because I'm going to Magfest. Hey, the light world. <laughs> huh. So they're color coded. Familiar. Hmm. 
dungeons have we actually completed? One? One. One. One dungeon. It didn't even have a Triforce or anything in it. It had some good stuff. What's this song? Oh. Well, I appreciate all your efforts. I'm gonna say it's another Mega Man. Ocean. Star Okay, see I wouldn't I like know that because frosted. I've never played a Star Ocean. Welcome to the stream. Huh. It kind of does sound like a Sakura boss song. Did you just totally erase that? <laughs> <laughs> you threw a dagger at it. <laughs> then it just disintegrated. You're not wrong. See the muscles on that thing and now it just fell over. <laughs> I'm like John Wick of the fantasy world. My name's Link, and you killed my fairy. <laughs> Now I'm going to kill all of the things that are precious to you. <laughs> I'm really excited for John Wick 4. Did they contract uh, Keanu Reeves to do for, for that series? Was it something like seven movies? I don't know, but he basically said that he'd keep doing them as long as people want them. He's getting a bit on in the years, isn't he? Look, if you saw how good he is doing stunts even now, and he does his own stunts, like, you would not fuss about that. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's really good at what he does. And what he does is very nice. I loved him at the Game Awards. that, Miss Yakunok. I ended up uh, ripping all the music from the cross the hard way. <laughs> the ocarina to hurt this thing. Is that is that supposed to be Dig Dogger? Yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, I guess the original interpretation of Dig Dogger was rather hard to parse. Ah, I guess there is. That's 
great. Um, take it easy, Nanachi. Rest well. Someone left these four bombs here. A bombs. <laughs> oh my god, JC, a bomb! I could really use a bomb bag. Nope, you just get more meat. It would appear that way. I can't even recall that there's actually a restaurant somewhere in the world that, that actually serves cartoon meat like that. And they stuff the inside with, uh, like, with, like, gooey cheese or something. It sounds like you would hate it. Well, I, I actually do like cheese of some varieties. Oops. Oh, iron arrows. <laughs> iron arrows. <laughs> something for silver. It's not bad. <laughs> I just took that guy's 134 rupees. He was practically giving it away. Has happened. A heart piece isn't bad. Iron blue intention. Part of it's out of key, though. Speaking of out of key, so am I for a I 
get better results from using the fire stick. Mm, the fire stick the fire from Mario? <laughs> oh no, not that fire stick. Oh no, I can't get it out of my head now. <laughs> the fire rod. <laughs> We'll have to blame Dot for that, since she's the one who pulled up that <laughs> Mario video last night. <laughs> we are three hours and ten minutes into our stream. Don't worry, Roto, as promised, I won't run to you, because I want you to have your dinner. Tastes so much better being this hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but you're always hungry. I always ask you how you're I doing, can, and I you're can, like, hungry. I could be hungrier and, like, and less hungry. <laughs> I suppose. It's just funny because <laughs> you always respond hungry. Again, there is one other person who does that. I do. I love Susan, so. Oh, wait, there's another? There's another like me? <laughs> who is this other Roto? It's not. It's not another Roto, but there is somebody else who flies hungry every time I ask them how they're doing. And... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Fry again. No, it's not Fry. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's the one and only Chair G Tables. Oh. I, I, I do get a kind of a hungry energy from them. <laughs> Hungry energy. Hungry. You're saying chair has hungry <laughs> energy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hungry G. Or maybe it's hunger G tables. Chair is great, though. Oh, oh, I get it. Hunger G. <laughs> so, what do you think that block did? Uh, it allowed you to reach the stairs? <laughs> I'm just joking because, you know, it made the secret sound and everything. I didn't need to, but it did. I didn't have to do that. We just wanted to give you a hug. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> We're almost at 999. I love PC98 percussion. PC98 has just the right amount of retro sound engine. I have the majority of the the songs in my pre-stream playlist from around are from around that era. Makes sense. Roto, we got more meat. Oh delicious. Just, just put it with the others. Yeah, you'll make, eat it all. Make, make sure Fry can't get to it. You know you know how he is. I do. <laughs> Literally stole and ate my dinner one time. Yeah, I once I once watched Carl like snatch. You, you you watched him do it and you didn't stop him. Well, one time we were eating here in my room and you had like your little uh, table and everything. Yes. And you were eating on it and 
then Fry grabbed something like off of your burger and just <laughs> snatched it and ran out of the room. You don't remember this? I don't think it was the burger, though he did snatch a piece of lettuce. Oh one wait, time. wait, wait. He also did it when you had sushi that one. Yes, I had I had shrimp tempura and there was a big piece of of uh of shrimp tail just sticking out of one of those rolls. Yep. Crept up, sniffed it a little bit, snatched it and ran under the bed. Yep. <laughs> I, I have never, never seen a cat this, this active and bold before. Cunning. Oh, he also begs for food no matter how much we feed him. That's true. Oh, you, you, you don't know Fry? Let me show you Fry. I'm the only one that actually has access to these emotes right now. I'm guessing they're your chair notes. One is a chair emote, one is a tier 2 sub emote. anything we can do in this dungeon now. Huh. The dungeon has so much nothing in it. Nothing, nothing after nothing came pouring out. There's a lot of these passages. Yep. What, All that work just to get back. Does that door lead to, like, a solid wall to the south? That's the exit. Oh. The one-way door, though. Helpful. What was the point of that? Who designed this level? I guess the oh oh, oh that figures. <laughs> oh my oh my god. Oh god. What the can your shield block those? Yes. So just keep calm and dagger on. Okay, it died and it dropped the boss key, we might actually be able to finish this dungeon. This threw you out of that, that subset of rooms. <laughs> this is the room with the diagonal blocks in it. Oh yeah. I need money anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, Adam, I know. I... It's my understanding from what Fry tells us that he has never been fed, ever. that look in your eyes. I'm thinking of attacking my feet again. Yeah, I just mean I have no use for money. While I'm in this dungeon still, because I'm a cat. You know. just made a big circle. Mm-hmm. Huh. So I forgot which stairway I needed to take. You tried the stairway to heaven? No stairway to heaven allowed. What? No stairway? Denied. Anyway, here's the boss. Here's the boss door. So, well, oh, the boss key door. Wait, wait a second. How can that be the boss room when there's a, an, a, another room above you? Well, it's the boss key. It's the, I just need the big key for this, okay? Okay. There's still an unexplored room up there that, that it's not going to connect to. Okay, at least I think. room to, to your left. Hmm. Or it might have something. Well, I have five up seven items in this place. What? Did you throw the meat at it? <laughs> I got bodied. <laughs> now I gotta get it's all the way loose. over there again. I hope you remember the way. Okay, so I just walk around until I find it. That's the way. This is the way. This is the way. Also, this actually is the way. Oh, wow, you're, you're right. Are you kidding me? It could be worse. Not by a lot, though, because that bag didn't really have anything in it. Still one more treasure to find, and I'm pretty confident that it is available. Uh, there's rooms on the left side that you haven't found yet. Right. No, left. <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to drop anything.
because your your uh, compass rings if there's something, right? Or I guess not. There has to be something in here. It now. Nope, we're still missing something somewhere. Hello, Amethyst. I hope you're doing well today. Probably one of the rooms on the right side because you've rarely been there. We know everything leading up to the boss room is pretty much clear. There's a, a, a stairway in here, but how we think it's just another part. I had to guess the item would be in the cellar of a room. Well, it is certainly possible. Probably from this room here. Realize that your your daggers sometimes come from the the opposite side of your character. Yeah, it alternates. It goes left, that left, must right, be right. A, that must be annoying. Or I guess it's somewhat random. Something here somewhere. There are four rooms with the same kind of stairwell. Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Yep. It's not this one, because this one brought us from the upper part of the dungeon. Well, we have to go to the upper part of the dungeon somehow. Huh, not the room I was thinking of, though. That just looks back. So it's not this room. It doesn't seem to be that room either. Actually, try pushing all the blocks on the room on the left side. 
Um, ink. Like, I know the compass didn't ring, but I'm kind of doubting myself now. It points out items that are in basements. I think it only points out that something will happen if you defeat all the enemies. Ah. Whatever. I think you're going to want to try the middle block on the left. So, like I thought, I had already checked them. Not a... Locked in that room blue. Uh, beats me. There might be a secret passage in there. There's definitely one in this room. Yeah, and it's not the one we want. There's no way to get back to the lower half of the dungeon. There has to be, bro. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. Well, not without taking that stairwell, but one of the ones up here. This one. Yeah, Because this is a dark room. Weird. Or they, these, these, there could be a secret passage in here now. it would be in there. But it's a one-way door. Oh, you could probably enter that room from the south side of it. But why does it have a door on the left? It's probably a one-way exit. I mean, there's only two ways to get into a room normally, just either walking through the wall or... or bombing it. Or I guess if there's actually a door there. I wonder where chat thinks this last item is. <laughs> I just think you'd like to know that the subtitles said, I wonder where Chad thinks the si last item is. <laughs>
those blocks. Why not? There's a stairway in here. Might be leading to where I'm trying to go. As I could tell, there's no top corners. I mean, I rubbed against those walls already, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> I'm just gonna leave it. I can't handle more of that dungeon. <laughs> and then it turns out to be the one that has the raft. Raft? The ladder? These dungeons niche together. How do you how do you mean? Well you know how all the dungeons in the original version of Zelda 1 have specific shapes? Yeah. It turns out they all share the same map. That they all interlock together if you arrange all the dungeon layouts a certain way. Huh. There's a technical reason for that. But I found that pretty cool to learn about. I, I only heard about it like maybe a couple years ago. Like, you'll start to notice if you look at the Manji dungeon and, like, uh, look very carefully at some of the the uh, the uh, the null space of some of the other dungeon maps, and it'll be and it'll become very obvious. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. J, I agree. Pick up. I know I'm not sure. <laughs> Better 
better check your inventory. Not a weapon. That makes sense. Map. Oh, that's right. It was just sitting there, wasn't it? Or am I thinking of a different dungeon? The caption said, I think I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> To Zelda? Well, I mean, you got 144 dungeons here. If that's not an overdose, I don't know what is. But we don't want anyone to overdose. <laughs> okay, that's that's why we're doing this in moderation. Oh, well, you got the rest of the year to finish this run. Oh, uh, that isn't much time at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the so, all of next year. Brian's looking at me like I'm speaking too loudly. <laughs> He's looking at you like you're being rude. Yeah. Are you leaving now? <laughs> Bye, Fry. <laughs> That's right, you have... You have a weapon that shoots, uh, like, wind now. Yeah, but I don't think it'll work on Dick Dogger. I mean, I'm willing to try it. It'd be a in very interesting alternative way to fight him. That's not Dig Doctor. That's a spider. With only four legs. all the way around here. <laughs> this game just wants to hurt you. <laughs> I can't recall, have you ever played Star Tropics before? No, you have never played Star Tropics. <laughs> Gotta walk all the way back there. <laughs> That's the most inconvenient part. I don't mind dying, I don't get frustrated at the games. It's just such a long walk. <laughs> Maybe you should have called an Uber. I don't have the cell phone. <laughs> Maybe they should put a cell phone in. Zelda. Oh wait, they did. <laughs> that was more of a tablet, really. <laughs> tablet, cell phone. Maybe I should go the other way first. <laughs> Well, that wasn't very worthwhile. 
Although it does tell me that there's probably a passage there. You know, there's there's no there's no fake uh, there's no pass through walls in the first quest of the original Zelda. space because there isn't really anywhere it could lead. <laughs> Aren't you enjoying these bags of poems? You mean ponchos, right? You could choose. You could choose? <laughs> you could choose. Hoppers. Did I deserve that? <laughs> Mew. 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 Here we go again. It's time to get manhandled. Actually, damn. Oh, I looked really cool there. obvious. Can I try out the spear? It's probably awful. Control of the force? Oh, that's so useful. Oh, we conquered that dungeon. Oh yeah, we did. Good job. Wait, those ghosts are not supposed to be killable. Well, you never tried killing them with the forest before. <laughs> Out. What the? F <laughs> 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 
Oopsie. Nice to see that the whiz ropes hit as hard as ever. What are they doing in level six? That took two and a half parts of your health. Enemies made of fire are weak to cold. mode. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you have to say something else. <laughs> you're, you're not getting angry enough. I never get angry at video <laughs> games. Oh, that's it's practically my tra a trademark. But wait, wait, the enemies didn't respawn? The enemies in the room that you died in did not respawn. The enemies in every other room do. Or I think maybe if a room has zero enemies in it, they respawn. continually shoot at you if you walk in front of them. <laughs> oh my god. And sometimes they turn around. I needed to stretch.
I think I'll come back here at a later time. Call. What? Wait, here? I guess that makes sense. There can't be more than four locations, right? Right. You can see them all here. Ah. <laughs> Manji. Hmm. Palace of Darkness. I definitely think I made the right sound font choice. Really long charge time. Thank you for the follow, Red Blue Fire. Oh, hey, those are my colors. Oh. Your colors are red, blue, and fire? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Have those things that are guarding the door. <laughs> Red and blue fires. <laughs> Poor gel. Wait, we haven't seen a big gel. No. Uh, what, what the heck? That enemy just completely missing from this this randomizer run? Could be. Or it could be in another world. Like the BS world. They're also not called big gels, but I forget what they're called. It's something that starts with a D, I think. Gel? No. Is it gel? D? It's a it's a it's a Jello? Zell and Gel. There we go. Zello. Renee is our resident <laughs> big Zelda fan. So. You think I know this because I worked on that ROM pack last week. <laughs> it's 
staring at Zelda all that time. Oh, hey, a quiver. Although I, I thought it was dynamite I at first. <laughs> I still don't have a proper normal bow. Right. Unsurprisingly, this has been one of the simplest dungeons. We need we need a game called Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> you play it, wouldn't you? You mean Colin, right? Colin, Colin. Colin, 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 Never need to enter a bird door again. Hmm. Oh, the boss door is there. Okay. Yep. Very close to the end already. Is this identical to the Zelda 1 dungeon? Yes, yes, this, except this is supposed to be level... Oh, you know what? This is level 3. Uh, Eagle is the first one. Condor, or whatever. I think it's Eagle. Second one is Moon, third one is Manji. <laughs> conquered this dungeon. Congratulations. Thankfully. <laughs> More bombs. If you'd like to carry more bombs. I really would. I mean, there's plenty of things people would say about the bombs I'm already carrying, but I'm sure I could carry more. A bomb! Oh, that goes to the... Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb. <laughs> what? Why is there another portal to that place? Well, they all connect up to different spots. It might actually be useful in some situations, you know? I wonder about that. Green sucks in Zelda level one. Because you have all these lever these blue levers. Now this is a nice item to have. Oh wow. <laughs> oh
It would have been funny if there wasn't oh, a dungeon. Wait, 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 don't... Oh. <laughs> I wanted to see if the leaving the dungeon the door still locked worked. If you... In the original Zelda, if you immediately leave the dungeon without opening that door, when you, when you come back, it opens up. I see. Without using a key. <laughs> <laughs> But that's probably expecting too much from this game since it's still missing the, uh, the tenth kill bonus item. You know, it might not have some of the stuff intentionally, right? I know, I know. I forget what the explanation for the, the unlocking door is. It's probably that since you're leaving from the bottom of the map, it's trying to wrap you around to the top of the same room so it unlocks the door for you. That's my best guess. I don't know, it sounds sketchy. <laughs> Look, I'm a programmer, I have this, that kind of intuition. Yeah, I suppose I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm supposed to be your apprentice, I, I learned <laughs> these things from you. Indeed, indeed. Uh, you wound me. <laughs> <laughs> I just like having a fun time. I like to get in a little ribbing. It's all in good fun. Yeah, well, I have this cool hat. Yeah, and it's keeping you from turning into a cat girl. <laughs> Yeah, that's because my ears can't grow out. I have to get the other hat on for that to happen. I don't know, I think you'd be pretty popular if you were a cat girl. <laughs> uh, you just found a sword lying there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> now, I don't think my VTuber is going to be a cat girl. <laughs> <laughs> show you guys something. I'm probably gonna regret doing it, but... Yeah. What the... You notice how I'm still in the cellar? Yeah. Things are about to get weird. What did you do? Welcome to the Lost Overworld. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. Does this even count as the Overworlds? It is not one of the four Overworlds. You might have a problem here. Yeah, there's pretty much no chance that I can handle the dungeons here at this time. Like, this is the lost volcano. How do you get out of this place? You reload. <laughs> you can never leave? You can leave, but you have to save and re- Oh. That's different. Is there some kind of spe lore specific reason that this exists? I have no idea. Like they're like some kind of bug in the original Zelda. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, as far as I know. 
at least one of the Zeldas, because I can kind of see something like this happening. I stumbled into this by mistake when I was practicing the game one day because I wanted to warp back out of the dungeon, and I was in a cellar. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, this, this entire world counts as a dungeon? Um, all of the overworlds have an item count like that. Oh, that makes sense. Frodo, would you happen to remember the way to get through this? Oh, uh, yes. Go up, up the mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the screen south, south of this one just has a solid wall on the north side. <laughs> and it always confused me how you would access this, uh, this looping screen from the south. You can't. Mm. HP. The Lost Overworld is no joke in general. Oh, <laughs> Who's that I hear? Fry. Fry, look what you did. <laughs> Fry. The unfortunate thing is that RTX voice filters him out. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's a. <laughs> He's not human, and it filters out non-human sounds, allegedly. Does that mean the chips I've been eating? Yes. Yes, Robert, it does. <laughs> By the way, this does not lead where you might think it leads. Oh? Welcome to the distant overworld. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Matango. Oh wait, this is the... The... 
desert music from Secret of Mana? Apparently I can't get anywhere else from this little island. Oh dear. I mean, I'm- I'm just amused by it, really. Wait, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, here we are, back in the Lost Overworld. And here we are in the forest of Salsetta, or something. <laughs> Finally we see one of these guys. Oh. But yeah, this is just straight up East music. funny that there's still items to find in this room. Yeah, but no progression item will ever be hidden in here as far as I know. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> um... Hmm? Sarah, you seem to have discovered the level 1 vaccine. Yes, it would appear that way. In the Lost World, of course. They lost the vaccine? It would appear that they did, <laughs> didn't it? Does the boomerang they say? It does no damage they say. Go <laughs> without saying, I'm way too weak for this place. You can't throw those fast enough. No.
sorry, you ever just subconsciously, subconsciously remember how the knockback works in this game? The avatar is getting knocked back right now. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. She got better. I don't know, I think what I got is bitter. It still seem to be broken. It still seem to is be broken. Is it my fault? Let me, put, let me put on my mask. And disappear. Does that work? You <laughs> 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 said you were gonna disappear. But... That wasn't intentional! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so big <we> clip that. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's a syringe. <laughs> um. Oh my god. He's <laughs> getting straight up assassinated. That is just like pow, dead. These guys just take one hit. What the heck? And yet they also hit really <laughs> hard. Like, ow. <laughs> you almost made it. No. Wow. With an emphasis on the owl. Things yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to find fight a bunch of Astolfos. Wait, why does that why does that count as clearing the room? Wait, wait, what did you say? I said we're gonna have to fight a lot of Stolfos. I'm not sure that's what I heard the first time. <laughs> Magic shield can't actually can't it can't block the, uh, the fireballs from bosses specifically because reasons. Yeah, even though they share the same graphic as normal fireballs, it's really annoying, especially in a room with the statue turrets because those you can block. This is a much more pleasant room to be fighting through. 
Yeah, but I can't tell. Uh, oh, the door doesn't open. But yeah, you can't put it, in, that's why. Now you're out of keys. Oh no. <laughs> Banished for not having any keys. But what if I bring Alicia keys? I will allow it. That hand is so trolly, it starts right there next to the door. Yep. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a secret room somewhere. That's just my opinion, though. Not fun. So there's already one in. There's already two in the center. <laughs> Are you going to tell me there's a cap on secret rooms? This is well, finding I, this, Isaac. This actually goes back to the design of Zelda One. Remember how I told you about how all. All the dungeons are actually like, interlocked together. On sure. The same map. Well, um, logically, that means that if there's any null space on the map that's surrounded by rooms that are part of this dungeon, there must be a secret room there because it can't be part of any other dungeon. <laughs> There are there are a few cases in the in some dungeons where there's a room that's in null space on the very corner of the map. So what you're telling me is I just need to map all nine dungeons of this color so that I can figure out exactly which <laughs> one <laughs> where the secret rooms are. Like. I mean it'd be really cool if that were true for all the same color dungeons. <laughs> Full of sweet peas. It's full of ponies. You're not gonna be able to move those blocks. Yeah. Uh, mm. Oh well, whatever. It could be worse. It got worse. <laughs> Alright, it's no there are no progression items. No, but there could be a weapon. You found what? No, that was that was in the, in the, uh, the original over uh, white sword. Wait, why is that screen able to scroll right? There's, there's, there's a mountain that's completely missing from there. I guess it's lost. <laughs> An exploration tax? What? He took some of our money. Some of our money. Brother, don't you really have a thing against people taking your money? <laughs> it happens just about every day, too.
It's actually pretty cool, cool that the overworld is still slightly altered. Yeah. There was a quarter of a heart in there. <laughs> Did it just straight up start you at the beginning beginning? Well, the place that we started. That's like the spawn area. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Boulder. Oh, this is going to be hard. Yeah, no way I'm going in here. <laughs> Not now. This, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's an incredible find. Yep, super important. Really? Helen! Two key upgrades in a row? Hey, look at all, think of all the dungeons you can complete now! Yep. That is what we call a game changer. I would love to see a modded version GoldenEye for the 64 that has a new multiplayer level or scenario level, but is playing music like this. <laughs> this is straight up GoldenEye level in a Zelda dungeon. Zelda the Eye of Gold.
mind me, I just seem to be in serious gamer mode over here. <laughs> Erased the boss, huh? <laughs> that always gets me. Never been in this shop the whole time? We went in there once. We didn't have enough money. It's so close to spawn that, yeah. Only four parts after all this time. Well, yeah, they got. They do have to spread them out over 124 dungeons. I mean, I suppose, but. the way you can like walk over the shore that right there. So what's a Gleok? Oh, I used to know this. It's definitely a Zelda enemy. It's actually the jumping rabbit-like enemy. Not it, but... Had a dragon boss. All right. Yeah. That's why I don't know the name as well. I just don't see him often enough. Holes. 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 Let's 
keeps taking your money. Yep. <laughs> Not like I have any other use for it, though. These wizard robes are not very good at their job. I mean, they are wearing robes. <laughs> Actually, I think this makes them frizz robes when they're throwing fire. This is Zelda Classic. To be specific, it's the Randomizer Omega. To be fair, the tile set really look, looks very similar to BS Zelda. position to be in. Same here, Fry. Why are you blaming Fry? <laughs> He likes to grab and also use my hand as a pillow. It's too nice not to leave the and take it away from me. Isn't that right, Brian? Well, does your hand make a nice pillow? Mm -hmm. I only have one hand now. Oh, okay. Sleeping next to me. Or should I say on top of me, Fry? <laughs> Why does this... Hmm. We have the ladder now. Oh, yes, we can finally make some progress. Oh, bye, Fry. Free! I have my hand back. You have exactly what you wanted. Why aren't you happy? Surprise, surprise. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that's a Gliok. a lot of rooms in here. Don't 
forget there are secret rooms in the eyes. Should be. I mean, I guess we're not we're tech, not technically playing by Zelda One rules. Yeah, I suppose not. Or they could be bombable rooms. It's a good thing the Bomberman bombs don't hurt you. Indeed. To, yeah. Sure are using a lot of keys. Well, I can buy them. True. But they haven't found more. Nice. <laughs> oh no. There are three of them in here. Oh, there, there he is. <laughs> huh. Interesting place to wind up. Yep. This, however, was not as interesting. Nope. <laughs> nap? Nope. Oh. Nap, nap. Do you believe that the captions turned Nep Nep into Neptune? Really? Money throwing technique. Okay, I taught you well. Well, the year's been a rough year for us. Like, the first half of the year was especially very rough. It sort of got better over time. And the second half of the year has been more productive and meaningful, I guess. Like, I started VTubing, and that's a big deal.
Yeah, the last couple of years have been rough for everyone, I think. Not necessarily early everyone, but like basically everyone. <laughs> Some people have had great years, but not us. That's a room right next to the eye. Yeah. I think... yeah. Hmm. Nope. Try bombing it? Oh, there's no crack there. I figured nothing would happen. I mean, hey, I tried. So... You know. Huh? Eh? What did that do? I think it would have opened the door, but the door was already open. So, yeah. Depends. There's accessible ways to do it. There's a couple programs somebody can use to make an avatar and everything for free, although the result may not be the best. Um, and there's also free software you can use for face rigging and everything. I will note that the face rigging is way more CPU intensive than you would probably guess. Um, you need at least a half decent camera. It doesn't need to be 60 FPS or anything like the 30 FPS camera is probably plenty if I'm honest. But the camera is definitely important. You of course also want a good microphone for tubing in general, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you don't really need to commission a custom avatar just to get started. That's the important thing to know. And honestly, I would advise that most people just, if you want to do it, just find a way to start and do it, you know? Like, you don't have to get it perfect first, as long as you get it started at all. Eventually you'll get it perfect, and that's the important part. So, we've been streaming about five hours. I'm sure Roto's going to kill me if he doesn't get to have dinner soon. <laughs> so, we are going to stop and... I'm going to put up a raid. Let's see. I guess I raid Dot. I mean, I literally have her stream up right next to the... Yeah. So, I'll raid Dot after the credits roll. <laughs> I hope everybody had a good time. That's the important thing. What? Oh, why does... <laughs> Why do the captions keep confusing the word Roto with mother? <laughs> this isn't the first time. It's because it thinks you're an Earthbound character. <laughs> okay, so I will see you all next time. It will be next year. <laughs> it probably won't be next week because MAGFest is coming. 
Thank you for the follow, Right Young. Sorry that you are following right as I am about to end the stream, but still, thank you so much. Anyway, I hope everyone has a lovely night. <laughs>